In today's video, I will give you specific tips what to do to achieve your first century breaking lineup. It's gonna be a really interesting video, so let's go. The first tip I would like to give you is to play high blacks. So, example, you play the first red, and ideally, you want to be high on the black, because from this position, you can play with stun run here, or play just below center here. If you are low on the black, then you cannot prevent making cannon on red and it makes spot way more difficult. So just make sure that you have high black and it's gonna make your break building and blocking much easier. Continue our drill. So I will play a bit stun run. And Cubo goes to the perfect sweet spot. So tip number two, you want to keep your Cubo around in this area without being here because it's too close to the cushion and it makes spot too difficult. And also, you don't want to be too close right here because it makes your aiming on object ball tricky and positional play more difficult. Let me give you an example. If you make position right here, it makes the red ball Spotting more complicated, but if you move a couple of balls away, you have a perfect red ball angle. So tip number two again, keep about medium distance around area from here to here. It's a perfect sweet spot if you can. So let's continue to drill. So if you want to make not a high black, but you want to make position for the black, just make sure that you have strict or slightly below. If you make strict, then you have to play screw back, which is a bit more challenging, or just slightly below, because after that you can play screw back and make position here. Or you can play for the pink. So if my task is to make a first century from this position, I will choose this red because I can simply roll in and make a basic position for the pink. And tip number four, as soon as possible, I want to open pink ball area, this ball and this ball here. Also, this ball is important, but I have to do this later. So um, now I'm gonna play pink. And from here, I have a couple of options. I can simply drop in and make position around here so I could have at least two reds into this pocket. Or I can make screw back and play reds into the middle. So since there are four reds left and here are more reds, it's seven reds here, four reds here, two reds here. So I will make a screw back and the cubo should be laying around the same area where I just put it cubo right now. So I will play screw back. And from here, I will play right into the middle. So the easiest ball, of course, it, this is this red here, which I can roll, but I'm then gonna have a long distance pink, so I have to play screw back for the pink right here. So since I am right-handed, I don't want to be awkward to the shot, so I don't want to land Cubo, just imagine, right here. So when you play from the side, which for the right-handed is not comfortable, you want to leave the Cubo straight or slightly below for the pink. That would be ideal angle. If you play from another side, which is for right-handed, very comfortable, you can even leave the Cubo right here, because as a right-handed, you can easily reach, and you can even reach shots from here, which from other side is impossible, which you have to play already with the rest. So just consider for which part of the table you play, so you could make optimal positional shots for your needs. So, now, let's go back to the strict position for the red. 
So I know that here it's going to be awkward queuing for me. So I will try to make cubo position where the cubo is right now or slightly below. So I just play slightly below cubo center, positive strokes, move, and delivery through. Now I have pink. So there are a couple of ways you can play the shot. You can use cushion and get cubo around the mid center part of the table. Center, I refer that it's away from the cushion. Or you can play stun shot and position right here. So there are a couple of options you can do. So I will play first option using cushion. Just like that. And I land it perfect. And I have a few options. I can play red over there and make position for the black and pink at the same time, which is a d decent shot to play. But remember, I only have four reds here, and they're going to be extremely valuable later when there are going to be less reds. I want to have equal reds in all parts of the table, except this, which is for the blue, mostly, you play. So, as I mentioned, since I am right-handed, I don't have to be afraid that I'm not going to reach the shot, and I'm going to make position around here. So just below center, nice and positive stroke. And here's the position. Yeah, a little bit too overscrewed, but I mentioned that if the cubo was here, I can easily reach out. So let's talk about this position, which is going to be co pretty common. There are a couple of options. You can play low on the cubo and maintain position for those two last threads or the red for here. So it all depends what kind of shot you play. So, you know, if there's angle like this about more, less than one Hubble angle, you can play along the cubo and maintain cubo around this area here. Or if you have slightly thick, thinner angle, for example, like this. You can play two cushion positional shot, and again, using black cushion, long cushion here. So you play stun area, touch up running side, and here we go. We have a distant position. So you always have to think how to make cubo positioning as simple as possible, so you could have a next position for the next ball. So I'm thinking I can easily open this red and make two-way position shot for the black and for the pink. So I will open this ball there. I already opened a couple of reds, so I can easily go for these shots there. I have black, I have pink. Pink is a little bit more simple. I can play two-way position shot for the red. So if you have many options, try to, put, to play for the couple of reds at the same time. Stun. Just like that. And now I have options to play red to the center or go back for the black. So let's start with the blue. I want to give you more tips about the blue. So when you play position for the blue, just make sure that you don't land low, too much low, over there like this, or right here. It's better to be high because then you have insurance to play block colors there, but if you're right here, you know, you have to play long pink, which is totally missable or you have to make cannon to continue break. So you want to be around, like, ideally you want to be, have short angles like this, slightly off straight or straight, but then you have to play a long shot. So ideally you want to be here and here. Okay, so let's go back to the position where it was. So ideally I want to be here or here. So I will try to make high, high blue. Stun area. 
OK? So I didn't got the correct angle for the blue. So it's almost impossible to prevent angle. So I, I needed to make position right here. So that shows you importance of playing a correct shot. So I will repeat. Of course, I can play a long shot there, but that you know is not making your learning about how to make century in the most simple way. Of course, you need to make sometimes make a recovery shot, but you know. So I will play a bit lower, and that's what I wanted to show. This is the angle you want to be, and you can play soft screw back for the red over there, or red into the corner pocket, so it's up to you. So I will play for the middle red, since you can go for the blue and the pink at the same time. So, you know, for this shot, I usually use shorter bridge and shorter grip hand, so I could have a feel for the shot better. You know, you can use a standard bridge, but it's, it's possible to achieve, but it's more difficult. You will see John Higgins, Ronnie doing that they are switching gears, like putting their grip closer, bridge closer, and long, and long backswing, and don't worry, you're not gonna overdo, and just play softly. And I got position for the red over there, or I can play for the blue. So I have a couple of options to play. And I, even I have this red there, but you know, it's, it's a bit more challenging, more difficult shot. So we want to keep things as simple as, as possible. So I didn't get got perfect position for the red, of course, I can drop in and later go in. So I will, as I said, go for this red. You know, play softly as you can and keep the cube around this area here. Just like that. Nice and soft. I see that many players are landing over there because they over accelerating the ball. So if you don't want to over accelerate, just use shorter backswing. That's going to help you to feel the ball better. Anyways, now I'm gonna play pink using cushion, as I mentioned before, so I'm not gonna talk anymore about this. Just like that. And you see, guys, here is the clear example what happens when you lose the cubo. You're not gonna have another shot and the break is gonna be over. So just, I want to show clear example what, what, what is happening, okay? So, you know, you have to understand how cushions are bouncing from the, uh, from the, from the cushions are bouncing. So let's say these cushions bounce a little bit more, so I have to play a bit softer so I could maintain the good cue ball. And this is ideal. This is like ideal position which I want to land. And you can, when you mess up the position, you can repeat two or three times to get feel for the shot. So next time you would learn from your mistake and make adaptations necessary for, you know, make a better break in lineup. So now I have a little angle for the red and I want to make two way position shot for the black and the pink. Just gonna play below center, more punchy shot. And I'm just gonna make two-way positional shot. So just below center, punch a shot. And Cubo moved to the position I wanted. Okay, so since I didn't play much with the black, so this is a, uh, a necessary shot. I'm gonna play with touch of helping side, just around the center, and the Cubo is gonna go back in this area here. So as you can see, touch of left hand side. You make sure that your group is not tight, it's nice and relaxed, especially when you play delicate shots. Left hand side plays nice and soft speed. And that is a perfect position for red. Right. Here, I can comfortably play for the red over there make position low pink and get position over there. So I will do that. Just below center. Now, 
I didn't land where I wanted, but now I can overstun and make position for the red over there. Happy with this. Now I have to think about how to get position for those reds over there. So ideally, I want to land high black or for the pink. The good thing about this drill that you can play for multiple shots at the same time. So now what I'm gonna do, since I have huge margin of error, if I land here, I have those reds there. If I land here, I have red there. So I just have to make sure that the cube lands from here up to here, and I'm good, you know? So just build center using two cushions. Play perfectly as I want it. Okay. Now I have red over there. Perfect example how to manufacture your liner brick. So there are a couple of ways you can do. You know, you can play top spin, make cushion bound and go here, but then you, you, you're gonna have a bit steep angle for the blue, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna play a soft screw back shot for the buck colors. That's gonna be beneficial for you if you want to just continue break. So just build center, soft shot. And the reason why you have to play soft because if you're gonna play with more power, there is more chance to cannon the red over there. And if you play softer, then the cubo is rotating back faster and then you have more chance to avoid cannon and make position for the brown, yellow, or green if you play from the other side. So now I'm gonna play yellow. I'm gonna use cushion because that's more predictable way making position for the, this specific red. So, you know, just gonna use just below center, maybe touch of left and positive shot. And cushion balance perfectly. I have, again, a prime position for the red. And from this angle, for me, it's a no-brainer to make position for the blue, since it's very difficult to maintain a perfect angle and go for those two reds again. Shorter bridge. Fantastic angle. Now. The best angle to go is for this red over there. And I'm gonna use again, soft screw back. And I'm thinking how to get over there. So ideally, I want to be a bit lower red. So I could go for the pink, for the pink I go for the red and then go for black and then for the red over there. So you're thinking sometimes even three, four shots ahead. Okay. Right, yes, I got straighter than I expected, but I can use cushion and easily get position for the pink using cushion, off cushion. So I'm thinking now what is the best way? So for me, if the, uh, I'm okay with having a bit, little bit longer distance, but then I will guarantee myself correct angle for the pink which I can drop in and make position for the red over there. So I'm not gonna play completely low. I'm gonna play not here, but over there and get a good position. Yeah, so you, there is a clear example of stretching out. So the most important thing, you know, here is, you know, because you're gonna stretch over the ball. So hold your cue at the back so you could have more room from your back arm to chest, yeah? And just make sure that you, you know, you make a shorter backswing because then you're always stretching and you don't want to overdo the shot. So you want to be straight or like you don't want to be low on the, on the red. So align yourself good. And play low on the cue ball. 
so you could play lesser speed because that's increasing your accuracy on the shot. Yeah? Now, from this position, so now, the most important shot in lineup. In this case, I'm gonna make slightly low black, and then I'm gonna use cushion and get into the red. And ideally, I want to be right here. So this is probably the most skillful shot in lineup because there is distance and you have to be relatively perfect. The less balls they are, the more perfect you have to be in cubo control. But before, the more options you have, the better you can score. So, you know, just below center, get position over there, using cushion for the red. Played as I wanted. Now I have a clear plan. I want to make cushion bounce into the red. And of course, ideally, I want to play for the blue to get position for the yellow and go back for the color. So, you know, you don't want to be too low. Always use cushion if you have such an angle like that. If you're more, you know, thin like that, then you have to use low on the cubo. So, in this case, classical example, using cushion and touch up running side. Okay, play, not ideal. I want it to be right there, but now I'm just gonna play for the pink and get position for the yellow. So that's why I'm saying that's most important shot in the break. So I'm thinking right now, since I'm right-handed, I can screw a little bit here. And if I'm going to be even here, I can play two cushion positional play for the yellow. If you're going to go that side, you know, it's more difficult to manage cubo as I want, since I know uh, it's a little bit more tricky side for the right-handed. So just below center and play softly. Okay, great. So this is the scenario what I was discussing. Uh, yeah, probably second most important shot. In this area, if you, in this situation, if you already clear up the reds, you already have to have a century break. If you play mostly, most shots around black, pink, and blue area. So, this requires a little bit more correction, but you know, just below center, punch the stroke, two cushions into the yellow. Come on, baby, come on. And mistake I did here, that I hit it to the lower side of the cushion, and now I have to use rest or the left hand, or I have to stretch over the shot and play. So in this situation, you want to be ideally right here. So, you know, I will repeat the shot just, you know, since to make it more simple. So I'm gonna, I learn from my mistake. I aim on cubo a little bit too low. And that's why I got not a perfect position for the yellow. So I'm just gonna aim higher. And I did adjustment. And more or less, I got cubo where I want much better than before because I don't have to stretch over. The only problem here is that I have to play cut shot and hold it for the green. Anyways, I'm gonna play yellow position for the green. Got a bit lucky, seriously, because like that, but the, the speed was good. So that's why it dropped. And I think on the old, older cloth, it didn't drop because there is no, you know, enough um, cloth. So here, I have an angle for the green. So you can, there is a couple options. You can play low on the cubo and maintain cubo right there, but then you're not gonna be that confident about the shot, especially on the older clubs. On the new cloth, you can play low in the cubo, or what I recommend is to play just slightly below center or around the center and use cushion for the brown. Just make sure that it doesn't go past this line because it's difficult to reach for the right-handed. So just below center. 
maybe touch of right in this case. And let's check the angle. It's, let me check. Yeah. Um, so I want it to be right here, since from here you can use cushion go for the blue, but I have a straightish angle, you know? So the key mistake what I see from the players, that they try to be too perfect for the blue here, and they uh, overrun and make too low for the blue. So it's better to be a little bit higher since you can play cushion into the pink. So I will try to go into the area and be around here. And actually, even in this position, you can play soft blue into the pocket over there and still get position for the pink. Even from here, you have more chance to continue your break. So I'm just gonna play soft. And even from this position, you, you maintain position for the pink. So that's the power of thinking. I play completely horrendous shot, completely horrendous shot, and still manage to control. And if I play it here, then I have to use cushions, go back into the line, I'm in, in the correct line. So yeah, here, you don't have to use any power, don't use top spin, just play around the center. I know that uh, queuing wise, it's challenging shot, but you know that it's more likely to get for the black, so center. because I aim to the correct spot on the cubo. I did everything possible to focus and put the ball, and I just made sure that I'm slightly higher on the black or strict. And if that's for the century, if you start a little bit later on, just drop in. That's it, guys. I gave you lots of valuable tips what exactly to do to achieve your first century in lineup. I'm sure that if you're gonna apply at least half of the tips in this lineup, you sooner or later, you're gonna achieve that. If you're a beginner player who wants to make 50 break, that's gonna be even easier to achieve that because you need to pot about you know, 13, 14 bows you know, to achieve that. So thank you for watching. If you're new and you like the content, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next videos. Take care.